Hi everybody, this is Ellie. Thanks so much for joining me today for a Hobonichi Weeks plan with me. And this is for the 52nd week or the week of Christmas. So I'm really excited to use some super cute stickers that I have. I don't usually go all out with sticker kits. So I'll use kind of the basics and maybe play around, but because it's Christmas and I'm, I don't use this as a planner. I use my Hobonichi Weeks as a memory keeper. So I think it'll be really fun to use as many of these stickers as I can, or it could be totally overwhelming. We'll find out. I'm going to use this sticker kit that I got from the Coffee Monsters Co. And it's really cute. I love the colors. I already went in and wrote my dates in. I just used my Faber-Castell here because it's so fine. I also got the, so this is the basics kit, but you can also get it with the extra sheets. So I got some of the sticky notes and some of these deco boxes. So this is what we will be using to decorate. So the first thing I like to do is, even though it has these washi strips, um, they're thin and I'd like to put something thicker down at the bottom. So I have this Christmas washi tape that I'm not sure, my mom gave it to me. I think that she got it at Michael's. And what I like about this particular washi tape is that it's thick and so it covers the whole bottom. I think I'll just try and line it up with the line at the bottom, which is not too bad. You know what, I'm just gonna go straight across today because that's the, that's the mood I'm in. Sorry if my head's popping in the frame. <laughs> I'm gonna go right across today and cover the little calendar. Usually I don't, but I will. And I got this card at Indigo and Chapters and I just think it's, I love it for our Canadian winter. It's not Christmas technically, but it's winter and I enjoy that. Just gonna use this palette knife to cut down here. Learn that from Cindy Gunter. Although she also uses it to cut the edges, but I am, I haven't had very much success with that so far. So Christmas is one of those things that just seems to creep up on me every single year. And this year is no exception. I guess it's just so busy that even, well, I don't know, this might just be me. I know that some people are very organized and I am always extremely impressed to kind of see people's systems or people who have all their presents wrapped and um, under the tree early. That's, that's lovely. At my family's house where we do gifts, we can't do that because our dog, our family dog, who is getting up there in age, um, has gotten a lot naughtier the older he gets. And he will just tear into, well, basically anything. But no, he'll he'll try and like rip open the paper and just play with the paper itself. He's gotten into the habit of, of really just, he likes to shred paper or tissue or Kleenex or any of that. So when we do wrap our gifts, we all have to find somewhere to kind of store them in our rooms or on a table out of his reach, which is hard now because he's learned how to like push out the dining room chairs so that he can hop on top of them. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's impressive. I'm impressed by his inventiveness and resourcefulness, but it's kind of a pain when you're looking for somewhere to keep, to keep things safe. Okay, so I'm gonna use her washi strips. I'm gonna use these ones on the bottom. Where do I, I'm gonna use them at the very bottom actually. I'm gonna try and line it up with the edge. So none of this is super straight. And if I'm, oh, I see, maybe I should have cut it there. Oh well. And if I'm doing this on my own, 
I mean, if I'm doing this without filming it, I'm way pickier, but I still have not mastered how to, uh, like, multi <laughs> multitask that well. I have trouble getting things down when I'm, like, my head's not basically on top of the the notebook, and nobody wants to see that, so... We'll just go with imperfections and that's okay. All right, and then she has the one wood one here. So I'm gonna put that at the top of this page. It's funny because even though we're getting really close to Christmas, I'm not entirely sure of our Christmas plans yet, so. Just, I mean, just in terms of we're visiting my partner's grandmother and I don't, a lot of it will depend on how she's feeling. So we'll either be doing that on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So I've been using uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. Christmas Countdown, which has been cute. I didn't start on the 11th day though. I just, uh, that didn't happen. I forgot about it and then I filled up the, <laughs> the space. I've been putting them right here, so there we go. It's Christmas. Ooh, I ate some really good gingerbread cookies this year, but I haven't done any baking, except I baked for a bake sale for my mom. I made some cake pops, but that's it so far. I'm hoping, well, I hope there's still time to squeeze in Christmas cookies. If not, I'll just, I can do them after the fact. And then I have a weekend banner here and a weekend banner here. I think I'll do that last. I'll see which color. This is kind of where I would normally stop, but that's not what's happening now. Hmm. Okay, let's start taking a look. So I've got all of these really cute deco boxes, and I've also got these sticky ones. So... Oftentimes I'll put a quote here. I might still do that, but I'm gonna decorate first and then see what the space is like after and figure it out. Ooh, I forgot I also have these boxes here. Okay, so I guess one of the things I wanna figure out is if I wanna put these boxes on this side or use them here for decoration. I'm gonna just check the sizing. Ah. Sorry, can you tell I didn't really plan out this spread first? Oh, so the sizing's super cute there, but you know what? Okay, one decision made. I am going to put some sticky notes all down here. I thought about putting this here, putting one of these all the way down here, but because they fill the entire box, it would look too, I don't know, too cluttered or too much like a comic like a vertical comic strip for my liking. I'd prefer to have these kind of staggered throughout. So that's how I decided on this, if you were if you were interested. Um are these all okay I'm gonna I'm gonna start with these ones. Just and I might end up doing the weather, like the temperature in here, I think. They're very cute, but also very small. So there's not, I don't think, a whole lot of writing that I could fit in there. Unless I wanted to fit in like one word that summed up the holidays, which I mean, that could be cute. Yeah, see, I should be lining up where I stick these so that they're consistent and I'm not, but maybe I'll try going forward. So yeah. That's the really nice thing about the Hobonichi Weeks, right? Is that you have the grid, so the options are there. It's just kind of whether or not you choose to use them. Oh, I see what's happening here. I'm using a lot of Christmas ones, but they're not all Christmas, so I better, better stagger that a little more, I think. Uh, let's use this pink one. And what's at the bottom? I'm trying not to match the colors, so. There we go, yeah, I see. These, these ones look nice because that's where I started measuring and this one's kinda doing its own thing, but that's all right. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use a weekend banner and I'll use the one that came with the kit because it has that kind of really pretty rainbow effect and this is quite colorful. I like how she's used, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I like how Helen's used kind of Christmas colors but a slightly more muted version of them. So I've also pulled out a bunch of other Christmas stickers that I have. So the ones that I showed you, plus I just got these from Paper Pumpkin Co. Just got these little stamps from Once More With Love. And I have this like emoji sampler from the Coffee Monsters Co. So I've got all of these and honestly, I'm not sure where I'm going to use them, but I do think I will. Ooh, you know what? I could probably put a stamp up here. That would be cute. What looks good? Well, they all look good. I think, what do I want to use? I'm going to maybe use this one here. I think the colors still go really nicely. So there'll be a little bit of an overlap, but I'm okay with that. It's cute. And I think, I don't know guys, how do people normally use these? Do they do them throughout the week or do they just put them down? I'm just gonna put them down and I think that'll be fine. I'll put, a, I think I wanna use some of the ones that you can write in for sure. So maybe I'll put this one. up here and the Christmas one's just going to be decoration I think well I think the Christmas the Christmas tree makes sense I wonder if I can put these two together I'm gonna see if I can peel this up Okay, put this here. I like that, that's cute. Again, this is probably something where if you pre-plan it, um, it looks, it works out even better, but that's okay. Uh, Boxing Day. I'm gonna put this because that's usually a day that I relax with my family. We're not big shoppers, so maybe some online shopping, if anything. And some planning. Well, I'm sure that'll happen at some point. What else do I have? Some tea. I think I'll put this, hmm. You know what, I'm gonna put the planning one on Sunday because that's generally when I get all sorted for the coming week. And what else? I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. I will keep all of these accessible because I think I'd like to use them as the week goes on, but I'll see, I will see how I end up filling it in and what like what's happening so that it's not totally random. Use a couple of these little guys though. They're super cute. Uh, what do you think? Maybe I'll do that there and make it look like it's, make it look like it's kind of hanging here. A little stocking, make it up a little thicker. There we go. And Holly, it's, Holly's one of my favorite, you know, I guess that's a lot. One of my favorite things. Yeah, I guess I'll keep a bunch of these around. Huh. I do think I'm going to stop here. This, so this is where Helen's sheets are sized perfectly because you can actually fit them in this pocket. So I'm going to keep her kit together and at the front here. Oh my, you can do the thing, it needs to move. And then, okay, so this will be too big to go in there. And I'm not gonna use the stamps either. So I, I do wanna use this guy, so I guess I'll just keep him on my desk so I don't forget about him. 
and I'll keep this one in here. And I'll probably use my Faber-Castell in here just because it's, um, you know, it's darker than my ballpoint pen that I usually use and I think it'll just stand up nicely to the kit and to kind of making this a more vibrant setup. Uh, this is cute. I'm really excited to see what it looks like when it's all filled in because right now it just, there's a lot, but it also seems kind of weirdly empty and kind of sporadic. So I will see how that goes. I'll probably throw in a quote here. And will I do, I didn't, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do my reading and listening to, and I'd love to do that. So, oh, look at this. Isn't that perfect for reading? Okay, so she's going to be reading. And I am going to make this one listening to because it looks like she is dancing to something so we'll do our listening to here and our reading here so sometimes i draw headphones but because it looks like she's got movement already to me i'm just gonna draw some music notes Cute. I'm really happy to have been able to use some of these and to also keep one of my standards going. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'd like to wish all of you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, a Happy New Year. I'm not sure if I'll be on before then, if I'll have another video up, but just in case. It has been so lovely finding this planner community and Everybody is so kind and I really appreciate all of you who watch and all of you who comment and just all of you who are in this community and who I've interacted with on Instagram or on YouTube or anything. Everyone's so inspirational and so kind. It's just been a really, really wonderful part of my 2019. So again, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.